Earlier this afternoon, James O'Boyle highlighted the valuable linkages between Enniskillen and the equine industry. We now come to the part in the proceedings where we acknowledge our sponsors and celebrate the success of our students who have won their bursary awards. As you know, we normally meet at Enniskillen and the sponsors hand over the checks to the students and we all get photographs taken. This year, however, is different. We have captured the interactions on video, which Ronan will line up to play very soon. In order to compete for the bursary awards, the students were asked to produce a piece of academic or practical work. While not every student has won an award, all the students are to be commended on the high standard of work which you submitted. We will now play a pre-recorded presentation featuring each student bursary winner and representative of each sponsor in turn. So Ronan, if you could do the necessary, please. The bursaries which are awarded to students who are undertaking final year at the Honours Degree in Equine Management. We start with the Danske Bank Bursary. Danske Bank sponsors student bursaries in all three of the Catfrey campuses. At Enniskillen, the Danske Bank Bursary is linked to our final year business development and management module. This award helps encourage students to develop their business skills. I'm Matthew Johnson from Danske Bank. Danske Bank have supported the bursary programme within the college for many years, and I know that the students value the financial support to assist them with their studies. The panel were very impressed with Hannah's confidence and the level of detail provided in her answers. Well done, and I wish you continued success with your studies. Hello, my name is Hannah Alonso Frio. I'm from Madrid, Spain, and I'm in my final year of the equine management honours degree. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Danske Bank for awarding me this bursary after completing an interview in which I discussed a business investment appraisal I had performed earlier on in the year for the equine business management and development module. I will be using this bursary to continue my studies in the field of equine health, either in veterinary science or nutrition. Thanks again and saludo. Our next bursary is sponsored by Godolphin. Again, this bursary is awarded to a final year student and we're really indebted to Joe Osborne for instigating this award. To compete for the Godolphin bursary, the students were each asked to prepare a career plan. And the career plans were assessed by Joe and his team in Kildangan Stud in County Kildare, and each student was given individual feedback. Good afternoon. My name is Kira Devitt and I am the Godolphin Ireland Education Initiatives Manager. It is my pleasure to announce the recipient of the 2021 Godolphin Caffrey Bursary. But before I do so, I would like to commend all those who applied. We were delighted with the quality of submissions and they left us assured that the future of our industry is bright. Without further delay, please join me in congratulating the 2021 Godolphin Bursary recipient, Miss Emma O'Brien. Hello, my name is Emma O'Brien Marr and I am a third year student studying in the Honours Degree in Equine Management in Caffrey and Skilling Campus. I would like to thank the bursary provider Godolphin for awarding me with this bursary and for their continuous support during these difficult times. The task assigned for this bursary award was to create and discuss a career plan. The prize from this bursary will go towards travelling abroad where I will continue to work in the thoroughbred industry and aim towards achieving my goals. Thank you. Godolphin continued to provide us with excellent support and I'm pleased that Emma and three of her classmates will pending the relaxation of COVID restrictions, avail of the opportunity to undertake a one-day immersive experience with Godolphin in Kildare and Kildangan Stud. Our next bursary is sponsored by Bally Lynch Stud. This is the second year that Bally Lynch have sponsored this particular bursary. We are indebted to John O'Connor down in Kilkenny for his support. Hi, I'm John O'Connor from Bally Lynch Stud in County Kilkenny. The reason we have chosen to support the CAFRI bursary scheme is because we recognise the importance of encouraging the young and talented, motivated students who are completing the course at CAFRI this year. We've been lucky enough ourselves to have a number of graduates of the CAFRI course join our team here at Ballylinch, and we've been very impressed with their standard of education and their well-rounded characters. We think the students of today can become the leaders of our industry into the future. Finally, I would like to congratulate 
Evelyn Berkeley, this year's winner of the Valley Livestock Bursary Award. Hello, my name is Evelyn Berkeley. I'm 19 years old and I'm from County Leitrim. I'm in my second year of the Honours Degree in Equine Management. I'd like to thank Bally Lynch Dodd for giving me the opportunity to be awarded with this bursary. This bursary required me to write an assignment detailing the management and development of one of the foals here at Caffrey. I will be using this money to buy a car to get to and from college. I hope you continue with the bursary programme in the future, as it is a good incentive for students to work harder. Thank you all at Bally Lynch Stud. The next bursary is sponsored by His Highness the Aga Khan Studs. This bursary is awarded for the fourth year in a row. The Aga Khan Studs covers a thousand hectares in Kildare and also has property in France in Normandy. I would like to publicly convey our thanks to Pat Downs and Gildtown Stud for his excellent support. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Pat Downs, manager of the Agacan Studs in Ireland. We are delighted to be part of the bursary programme at Enniskillen, and I send my sincere congratulations to Robin Lynch and wish her the very best uh, for her future career in the industry. My name is Robin Lynch, and I'm a first year student studying the Foundation degree in Equine Business and Management. I would like to thank Aga Khan Stud for kindly providing me with this bursary, as it's something I didn't expect and I'm honoured to be chosen. This kind donation will assist me in getting the experience and confidence I need into working towards my amateur licence in the near future. I was awarded this through the Breeding and Stud Practice module, where I found every week more fascinating than the next, and it's definitely something I'll consider to do in the future. Our next bursary is sponsored by Horse Race in Ireland. Horse Race in Ireland's mission is to develop and promote Ireland as a world centre of excellence for horse racing and breeding. Hi, this is Elaine from the Equip Department within Horse Racing Ireland. Um, I just want to wish huge congratulations to Shauna, who is in receipt of our bursary award this year. Shauna, best of luck in your future education and career, and please stay in touch with us here in Horse Racing Ireland. Bye. Hi, I'm Shona Rodden and I'm a year one student on the foundation degree of the Equine Management course. Um, I would just like to say a big thank you to Horse Racing Ireland for awarding me this bursary, which I got based on an assignment I completed for my Equine Instructors and System module. This money will help go towards my tuition fees, SRC costs or any extra costs that may come up throughout the year. Um, I'm really enjoying my time here at Caffrey and I just want to say a huge thanks to the college. Thank you. Next up, we have the Bluegrass Bursary. Bluegrass Feeds um, has really started out by the Arvin family who have been involved in the milling of food since 1847. And Irwin's is now recognised as a leading player in the Irish horse feed industry. Hello, I'm Kenneth Irwin, Bluegrass Horse Feed. And we're unfortunately not able to be with you today in person at your award ceremony, but we just would like to Congratulate the winner of our Bluegrass Horse Feed Bursary, Megan Finnegan Rogers, and we wish Megan all the best for this year. Hi, my name is Megan Rogers, and I'm currently in the second year of my BSc in Honours degree in Equine Management. Firstly, I'd like to thank Bluegrass Horse Feeds for sponsoring this bursary and for providing me with this amazing opportunity. I'd also like to thank Caffrey for building connections with companies like Bluegrass that can provide these opportunities for students throughout their studies. This bursary will contribute towards travel expenses that will allow me to broaden my knowledge and experience within the global thoroughbred industry. Moving to the next bursary, which is sponsored by Coolmore, for the ninth year running. Coolmore is the international horse breeding organisation which stands a range of world-class stallions in Ireland, Australia and the USA. Down through the years, the Coolmore organisation has been a strong supporter of Enniskillen campus, and we are indebted to Christy Grassick and to Parik Dolan for their help in establishing the Coolmore Bursary. Hello everybody, it's Parik Dolan here from Coolmore Stud. Um, Coolmore and the Magnet family are more than delighted to be involved in the sponsorship of this bursary. We feel that it's a just reward and recognition of the students' hard work throughout the year. And without further ado, I'd like to congratulate Anna McGuinness from Colette and County Tyrone on winning the bursary. Well done, Anna, and congratulations from all of us in Coomer Stud. Hi, I'm Anna McGuinness. I'm a second year student studying the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Aquine Management. And I would like to thank Coomer for providing the bursary opportunity. I completed an assignment for the principles and practices of an Aquine Stud 
which ends at L201, as I have a keen interest in the four bed industry. Our next bursary is presented by Durham's Town Stud. This is awarded for the fourth year in a row, and Durham's Town Stud is an internationally recognised equine breeding centre spanning over 800 hectares near Maynooth and County Kildare, and we are indebted to Stephen Collins and his team for supporting our bursary programme. Hi everyone, Joe Bean here in Durham's Town Stud. Uh, once again, we're delighted to be part of the Cafe Enniskillen uh, Bursary Presentation Awards. And this year's winner is Casey Burns, and we're delighted to present her with an award. Hi, my name is Casey. I'm in my first year of the Level 3 course, and I'd like to start by thanking the bursary provider, Darren Stein Stud, because without them, this wouldn't have been possible. I got the bursary through getting the highest in my class for preparing a horse for presentation, and I'm going to put the money towards getting equipment and tack to, for my studies to help me progress. And I just I can't wait to get back to campus because the hands on experience and the knowledge and confidence it gives you to go out into the industry is just something that I haven't been able to find anywhere else. So I'm excited to get back. <laughs> Thank you. Moving to the ATBA bursary. The ATBA is the representative body of the Irish thoroughbred breeding industry, both at home and internationally. The relationship between the ATBA and Enniskillen campus goes back a long way. And I want to thank Dean Horan, Dennis McCauley, Shane O'Dwyer, and the dedicated office staff based at Kill and County Kildare for their support through this student award. Shane O'Dwyer, CEO, Irish Thoroughbred Breeders Association. We are delighted to continue our support to promoting educational excellence at CAFRE through our annual bursary. On behalf of the association, I would like to congratulate this year's recipient of the 2021 ITBA bursary, Miss Amy Rollins from Coleraine. Hello, my name is Amy Rollins. I'm a level three second year student. I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone at the Irish Thoroughbred Breeders Association for kindly giving me this bursary. In order to win this bursary, I had to complete a written report in one of the broodmares at Caffrey to determine whether it should be suitable to breed from. I've really enjoyed my time at Caffrey and I hope to get accepted back to study the BSc degree in equine management. This bursary means so much to me as it'll help me continue my studies. Our next bursary is sponsored by Tinnacle House. Tinnacle House is owned by Dermot Cantillon and Meade Osborne. The farm extends to over 150 acres and is situated in County Leash. So thanks again to Dermot and Meade. Hello everyone. On behalf of the whole team at Tinnacle House, we're delighted to present this bursary to Katie Duggan. Wishing you all the best in your studies, Katie, and we look forward to seeing you when things settle down. Bye. My name is Katie Duggan. I'm in my second year studying the foundation degree in equine management at Caffrey Enniskillen. I would like to thank Tinnacle House for sponsoring the bursary, which was awarded to me for my assignment for the management of the equine athlete module. I'm extremely grateful to be given this bursary that will assist me during my studies here at Caffrey Enniskillen and uh, also allow me to further my education and opportunities within the industry. I'm delighted to announce that the Patrick Race course joined our band of bursary sponsors last year and continues to sponsor a student bursary this year. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, I'm Ruth Morrison from the Patrick Race course. It's such a shame that we can't be together today to enjoy the careers day and bursary presentation to the Enniskillen campus. Well done to those involved in organising this virtual event and we'll look forward to joining you all again next year. In these crazy times, students need industry help more than ever and we are delighted to support the Caffrey bursary team again this year. Well done to all the students who have been awarded bursaries and massive congratulations to Leah Havern, winner of the Ben Patrick Race Course Bursary. Hi, my name is Leah Havern and I am an FDSE Year 2 student currently studying equine management at Calvary. I would like to thank Dern Patrick Ruth course for awarding me with this bursary, which will significantly assist me in launching my business once I finish my studies. This opportunity will further aid me in making my break into the equine industry. Thank you. Our next bursary is sponsored by Show Jumping Ireland and is the fourth year that Show Jumping Ireland has sponsored a bursary for a student at Enniskillen. Show Jumping Ireland is the governing body of show jumping in Ireland and aims to ensure good sport, fair competition and fellowship for those within the industry. 
Ray Buchanan on behalf of Show Jump in Ireland. Show Jump in Ireland have continued to support the bursary programme for a number of years now. Having seen at first hand the excellent facilities and programme available to students wishing to pursue an equine career. It gives me great pleasure on behalf of Show Jump in Ireland to congratulate Michelle Hughes of Gorey, County Wexford on winning the Show Jump in Ireland Bursary Award. We wish her every success in her degree studies. Hi, my name is Michelle Hughes. I'm in my first year of the BSc Honours Degree in Equine Management. I would like to thank Show Jump in Ireland for this bursary. This bursary is going to help me pay my tuition fees. As a member of Children in Ireland, it is great to see the sector get behind students like me in assisting with our studies. And in the future, I hope to add to the sector. Our next bursary is sponsored by Horse Sport Ireland. Horse Sport Ireland is the governing body for equestrian sport in Ireland and also has responsibility for maintaining the Irish Horse Register. Hello, my name is Sophie Dalton and I'm the marketing manager for Horse Sport Ireland. Horse Sport Ireland is the national governing body for equestrian sport in Ireland and we are delighted to be once again supporting the bursary programme in Caffrey. We hope that our support will help students in these difficult times. I'd like to congratulate Thalia O'Hare from Belfast on winning the Horse Sport Ireland bursary. Congratulations Thalia and I would like to wish you the very best of luck uh, in your course and also with your future career in the equestrian industry. I'm Thalia O'Hare. I'm currently in my first year of a Bachelor of Science in Equine Management and I'd like to thank Horse Sport Ireland for providing this bursary, which I was awarded for my equine enterprise report in my Introduction to Business Management class. I hope to use the money from this bursary to fund some further travel to increase my knowledge of the equine industry. Moving to the Northern Ireland Horse Board bursary. The Northern Ireland Horse Board is a registered cooperative society for people involved in the horse industry in Northern Ireland. And it has been formed to give breeders a voice in decisions relating to the Irish horse and in the future direction of breeding in the Irish sport horse industry. The Northern Ireland Horse Board has awarded a bursary to an Inniskillen student for the last 10 years and I am pleased that your organisation continues to support the college in 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hugh McCusker, Chairman of the Northern Ireland Horse Board, a position I've held now for some probably 10 years and we started to give a bursary to Inniskillen several years ago and I have to say it's a great pleasure that I award this bursary to Bevan Harkness from Strangford County Down and wish her all the best in the future and we would also like to wish the college all the best and a healthy future. Many thanks. I'm Devon Harkness and I'm currently a further education student to Caffrey Campus. I'm studying Level 2 Technical Certificate in Equine Care. I would love to thank Northern Ireland Horse Board for this amazing sum of money. It makes the hard work and the effort feel so worthwhile and I'm going to use this sum of money to help fund progressing on to Level 3 Extended Diploma in Equine Management. So thank you so much. Our next bursary is sponsored by the Tyrone Farming Society. This is the 11th year that the Tyrone Farming Society has sponsored a bursary for an equine student at Enniskillen. The Tyrone Farming Society aims to promote and improve the breeding of all classes of livestock and aims to promote equine pursuits within the context of the agricultural show in Oma. Tyrone Farming Society has been a strong supporter of Enniskillen campus and I thank John Chambers for his support over the years. On behalf of Tyrone Farming Society, I would like to congratulate Megan Hunter from Ballinahenge County Down, a third year Bachelor of Science Honours Degree equine student and winning our annual bursary award. She achieved top marks in a piece of work set for applied equine nutrition module. We wish Megan every success in her degree studies and we hope that she achieves her ambition to pursue a Master's in Equine Science. 
Hello, my name is Megan Hunter. I'm from Bottle and Hinch and I'm in the third and final year of the BSc course. I would like to say a really big thank you to the Tyrone Farming Society. Um, I'm planning to start a master's degree in England in September, so this bursary will really help me get set up, so thank you very much. The final bursary to be announced is sponsored by the Irish Farmers Journal. The Farmers Journal is the only agricultural publication to operate as a legal trust to enhance the competitiveness of Irish farming and the well-being of those engaged in the sector. The Irish Farmers Journal sponsors student bursaries in all three of the Caffrey campuses. Hello, my name is Leo Powell um, and uh, I'm here representing the Irish Farmers Journal, our sister paper to the Irish Field. Um, it's my great pleasure to congratulate Caitlin on her uh, bursary award. Um, we've been delighted to sponsor this bursary for a number of years now, some uh, fantastic winners in the past. And um, once again, it's wonderful to be associated with Caffrey. Uh, we have a very strong bond with college, and personally, I do too. So um, it's wonderful to be joining you uh, online for a, a change, but hopefully in person very soon. Well done again, Caitlin, and the very best for 2021. Hello, my name is Caitlin Condry, and I'm studying in my first year of Level 3 Equine Management at Caffrey. I'd like to thank the Irish Farmers Journal for sponsoring the Health and Safety Bursary. With this money that I've won, I'd like to buy a new laptop, as mine is recently broken and at the moment I'm doing all my classwork on my phone. This will help me as I'll be able to download all the files I need onto my laptop, do assignments on my laptop and also attend online class on it. Thank you for sponsoring the bursary. I'm delighted that we continue to strengthen and deepen our relationships with industry. In recent years, we have established prestigious graduate internships with industry support. Under the terms of these agreements, each organisation provides one of our graduates with an outstanding experience, paid employment for up to 51 weeks, plus, in some cases, the opportunity for international travel. I'm sure that everyone will agree with me that these organisations are providing opportunities of a lifetime for our students. Unfortunately, the travel up Unfortunately, the travel opportunities have not been possible due to the current pandemic, but I am delighted that the sponsors remain in support and will support our students whenever the restrictions lift. These opportunities were actually presented this time last year, but due to the current pandemic, the students were not able to avail of the travel opportunities. However, the organisations have stood on and continue to support our students. So I'll just go through each of them in an order. Coolmore are supporting Nisha Fox with six months in Ireland, followed by six months in Australia. They have also agreed to support Daria Fidgen for a period of internationally. And I'm pleased to announce that Spy Coast Farm have stood on and are still willing to support Kieran McCarthy to travel over to Kentucky to work for a period of 12 months whenever the travel restrictions lift. So once again, I would like to thank all our industry supporters for all the support that they give to the college, to Caffrey, to Enniskillen campus, and to all our students. So thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you to everybody um, for listening in on that. I'd just like to thank all our sponsors for supporting the Bursary and Internship Awards. And I'd also like to congratulate all our students receiving these valuable awards. I would now like to invite a friend of Ennis Gillen, Joe Osborne, to speak to us on behalf of our industry representatives. Joe is Managing Director of Godolphin Ireland. The reason I say Joe is a friend of Ennis Gillen is that his support is absolutely unwavering and he has helped us in so many ways down through the years, locally, nationally and internationally. Joe, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much, Seamus. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here talking to you and your students. Um, 
it would be a much bigger pleasure if I had the lovely drive up through Cavan and Fermanagh to be on your campus this afternoon looking out the window at the beautiful countryside. But um, we have to, as you said yourself earlier, we've got to make the most of these situations. Uh, pleasure to, to be here, as I said, uh, 20 years of careers, the career days. What a, what a great achievement for you and your team. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate the, the bursary winners. Great uh, mix of talent there. Uh, well done to every single one of them. In the last uh, 24 hours, one of our horses who's resident here in Kildangan, uh, Gayath, got uh, awarded as the world's best race racehorse. And it's a pleasure to have him here and an honor to have him here on the stud. And uh, he's the, he was the kind of racehorse that doesn't come along too often. To be judged the best in the world is quite quite an honor for him. And he had a style of running where he just went out to the front of, his, of the race and just kept improving his position, as they say. And in a lot of ways, parallels between him and Caffrey and Eskillen. Uh, in my long involvement with you and your team, you've done that. You've got out there. You've 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 you set high standards for yourself and for your students, and just continuously try and improve it and be better. So well done to you. Uh, Seamus asked me to say a few words on behalf of the industry, which is again an honour and very pleased to do that. And uh, on 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 a career day like this. It's appropriate to reflect that a career means opportunities for growth and progression. These are difficult times and our combined focus is on survival at the moment rather than progress. Those of you completing your studies remotely should feel very proud of yourselves. It's taken great resilience to get to the point where you can now think about the journeys ahead. These are difficult times, but they're also revolutionary times. The worlds of study and of work have changed in ways none of us could have imagined a couple of years ago. It's a revolution and survivors are the winners. You and your generation are not just adapting to change, you're leading it. In an historic time when the oldest ever president has taken office in the United States, it's the voices of your generation we are all listening to and learning from. Inspirational champions like Amanda Gorman, Greta Thunberg, and more locally, Darren McAnulty, are speaking with courage and clarity, advocating for a better world than the one being offered to them. You've absorbed a lot today, and it'll take quite a while to evaluate your choices and make your plan. And even if that process is difficult, you should have learned that there is a world of opportunities for you after graduation this summer. As you have heard, I'm sure this morning and during the panel discussion, what our employers are looking for in graduates are people who are enthusiastic and adaptable, who are ambitious and resilient, who are curious and committed. The ongoing generosity of the bursary sponsors and the continued support of the business community for Careers Day are proof of the strong links between Caffrey and Eskillen and the world of work, the world of opportunities. I hope you feel encouraged optimistic and welcomed by the possibilities beyond the campus. Graduates of your courses are achieving great things in a wide range of activities, and by doing so, they're building a brand which adds value to your credentials. You spent less time on Fermanagh than you would have intended, but thankfully remote learning does not mean disconnected learning. I hope the challenges you have overcome have made you stronger as individuals and as a team. This is a difficult phase of the pandemic. People and communities are feeling fatigued and overwhelmed. Every one of us has been impacted by it. We are worn, worn down by the constraints and demoralized by the time it's taking to navigate the complexities. It's a virus which impacts our mental well-being and weakens the bonds which holds communities, societies and economies together. We will overcome it and when we do, we will realize and appreciate how much we have learned. Amanda Gorman is 22 years old, and when she recited the poem The Hill We Climb at the presidential inauguration in Washington DC last week, the world listened. In a time of threat, division and conflict, she begins her poem with the question, when the day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never ending shade? And then at the end of her poem, she ends with the words, we will rebuild, reconcile and recover and every known nook of our nation, every corner called our country, our people diverse and beautiful will emerge, battered and beautiful, 
when the day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light. If only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Amanda Gorman is speaking to you. She's speaking to us all. Be hopeful that the COVID-19 pandemic will end. Be confident that you can make the world a better place. Be committed to growing and progressing personally and professionally. Be brave. On behalf of our industry, I confirm our confidence in you and wish you well in your journeys towards a brighter future. Thank you very much. Joe, once again, thank you. Um, always inspirational for all of us, students and staff, for myself personally. Joe, thank you. You have been a strong supporter, as I said, over the years. Uh, we've a fair wee bit to go on our journey, and I hope you'll stay with us and support us as we journey on, and we will journey on. Thank you very much, Joe. I would now like to ask Ronan to set up another short pre-recorded video featuring final year student Hannah Alonso O'Friel to propose a vote of thanks to the industry on behalf of the students. And when Hannah finishes, this will be followed by the closing remarks from the CAFRI director, Martin McKendry. Thank you. On behalf of the students, I would like to start by thanking all of the industry representatives for taking the time to join us in CAFRI's first virtual careers day. We really value your support, especially in difficult times such as these. I would also like to extend a thank you from the student body to the Chair of Fermana and Oma District Council, Diana Armstrong, Leo Powell, our industry panel and Joel Osborne. Your presence here today is particularly encouraging for us all because it transmits a sense of support in a world that is still struggling to stabilize and move forward despite COVID-19. Our contact today with such a wide range of industry representatives gives us as students a wider world view of some of the equine jobs available within the equine industry, some of which we may have not been aware of previously. Ireland is one of the top nations within the global equine industry, and as you're all a contributing part of that industry, your continuous advice and support is always extremely beneficial, and the information that you share with us is always greatly appreciated. I would like to thank you for providing us with work placements, mock interviews, graduate programs and employment opportunities. Again, we are aware that few industries have escaped the financial challenges of COVID-19. So this year, your continued support is doubly appreciated. We sincerely hope that you will continue to be a presence in CAFRE in the future. Thanks to the generosity of our bursary providers, each year students are given the opportunity to apply to some very substantial economic support. These bursaries give us the students the opportunity to further our education by alleviating some of the costs associated with attending college and providing financial support that will allow us to travel and hopefully to experience the global industry just as soon as possible. I would also like to show our appreciation to all of the internship providers. We are extremely fortunate to have leading organizations offering us world-class opportunities in which we can develop our skills as we enter the equine industry. We are genuinely grateful for these opportunities and we look forward for your continued support in the years to come. Many graduates of this college have successfully progressed into the equine industry, making a positive name for themselves both in an Escalon campus and in the equine industry as a whole. Careers at CAFRE is an important part for both our education and career development, helping to create a sense of purpose among students to put their own career aspirations into perspective. This experience allows students to meet and develop contacts with future potential employers and hopefully to make a good impression on you. So on behalf of the college as a whole, I wish to thank you once again for attending today and hope that you will continue to guide us and encourage us alongside supporting the college in the future. A special thanks this year too to all the staff who have gone above and beyond, not only the organization of this virtual event, but also continuing to teach us through a whole new media. Thank you very much. OK, um, thank you very much, uh, Hannah, for that. Um, and I think uh, after Joe's comments there, uh, you've risen to the challenge. Uh, and I think we have young people 
who can step forward and make a, a real difference um, across the world in the equine industry. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, to everyone, good afternoon, and I'm delighted to join you at your career, Equine Careers Day. Uh, and just to provide uh, a few short closing remarks. Firstly, as Caffrey Director, I would like to thank each and every one of you who have contributed to today's excellent event. Um, I just think as I'm, I'm watching uh, a number of the presentations there today, we have uh, quite a number of uh, future TV stars. Um, probably none more so than Seamus when I, he, I, could, I could hear him and see him talking, but he was also able to drink water at the same time, um, which is uh, quite a trick. Um, but well done to everyone. Um, special word of thanks to Diana Armstrong, Leo Powell, uh, and of course uh, to Joe, Joe Osborne there um, for their continued support uh, to the whole equine provision um, over many years. I'd like to thank all our bursary sponsors uh, and congratulate the students who, who received their bursaries today. Well done to each and every one of you uh, on your achievement, um, and especially in light of the significant competition uh, to uh, receive one of these bursaries. It's also great to witness such a, a wide range of equine careers uh, represented today, uh, and to all the industry representatives who participated in the virtual careers discussions with our students this morning. A thank you as well to the panel on stage uh, and to all those who helped out in, in any way. Uh, um, on behalf of the staff and the students, thank you all for your continued support, especially as we've talked about in these difficult times. To all our students, um, I want to say a, a few words. When you join Caffrey and Eskillen, um, we believe your equine career starts then. The day you, you come into the campus, um, not actually when you graduate, it's, it's the day you start with us. Um, and today is a perfect example of this, where we uh, as an organization and then a skill on campus place you in front of the equine industry on a global basis. Despite the current pandemic, I'm particularly pleased to note the excellent work that is ongoing on, in the campus uh, and been undertaken to develop international links with world-class equine businesses and universities right across the globe, um, and particularly in, in America and in the Netherlands. I wish all our students every success as you plan your futures. And I hope that today's event will assist you in making the right choices, uh, and as Joe talked about, to seize the opportunities that exist. Um, because despite all the difficulties, um, it is the survival, it is the people who, who can, can change uh, and can accept the challenges who, who will survive. I wish to thank uh, Gail Moon, Jane Elliott, Laura Smith, Roman Cole, David Downey, and Henry Salmon for making all the arrangements for today. Um, just to see behind the scenes here, it's like backstage, uh, the amount of work uh, communication uh, and all, and, and the, the precision to, to get everyone uh, presenting um, in such a uniform way um, from right around the globe. Uh, and folks, I also thank to all the other staff who helped in any way, uh, and especially to all our students who contributed to the success of the, of the event. I just want to say a few words about our next major event, which will be our our equine student conference which will be held virtually as well on thursday the 11th of march um, and we'll be inviting students and people working in the industry to join us for that event it's well worth attending um, and we'll make further information available uh, as soon uh, as we can so keep this date in mind the 11th of march and please spread the word among the industry uh, and around other colleges uh, and your peers so Finally, finally, on behalf of all at Caffrey, I sincerely hope uh, that you've enjoyed the day. Um, thank you for everyone and your participation. And it just remains for me to say to stay safe and healthy. Um, and we look forward to the day 
that we can all meet uh, face to face uh, on the campus. Thank you.